Hello everybody, it's Terry back again another video. Big congratulations to Rafael Nadal for winning his 14th French Open title in his 14th French Open final. He just completely destroyed Casper Ruud, Ruud who was making his first ever Grand Slam final against his big idol and big hero. He didn't stand a chance against Nadal. Nadal took him out 6-3, 6-3, 6 love, gave him a bagel in the third set. Casper Root, he literally doesn't have any chance with that kind of a limit in his game. His backhand is just too weak, too short, too bad. That will not seal the deal for you if you have that kind of a weak backhand. You need to have an unbelievable out of this world backhand to stay with Nadal from the baseline toe to toe. Rafa Nadal was pumping that Casper Root backhand exactly like I was expecting before the final. Almost every single ball was going towards Kasper Ruud's backhand in the rallies and when Rafa was serving, he was serving, serving of course, towards Kasper Ruud's backhand. Like Nadal always do, especially at Clay, especially at French Open, Nadal, once again, did his best performance in the final, like he has done the all 14 times, the, the, the all 13 uh, previous occasions. He saves the best for the last. The opponent also made made his life easy because, uh, let's be honest, Kasparu, beside a decent serve uh, and a decent forehand, he doesn't have anything else. All things that Casper did really good, that Casper did really good in the first six meetings. In, in the first six ma in the in his six victories at French Open 2022, they never will work against the clay court machine, the clay court predator, the clay court cyborg, the clay court terminator, the greatest clay court player of all time, Rafael Nadal. Just counting to 14 takes time. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It took more than 10 seconds to count to 14. That is how many times Rafa Nadal has now won French Open, my tennis friends all around the world. One of the greatest tennis players of all time, the all-time four Grand Slam leader behind Nadal now with 22, Novak Djokovic with 20 and Roger Federer with 20. The all-time fourth place Grand Slam leader I'm talking about is Pistol Pete Sampras. He has won 14 Grand Slam titles in his all career. 14, my tennis fans, all around the world. Five US Open, two Astral Opens, seven Wimbledons, zero French Opens. Rafa Nadal wins 14 Grand Slam titles in one single Grand Slam event. Let that sink into you guys. Let that let that sink into you guys. Rafa Nadal wins 14 Grand Slam titles in one single Grand Slam event. As many as one of the greatest tennis players of all time has won in all four majors combined. Like I said, five years open, two Estelle Opens, seven Wimbledons, zero French Opens. Pistol Pete Sampras has won 14 Grand Slam titles in his entire career in four majors that he was competing throughout the years. Nadal equals that feat from Pistol, pa Pistol Pete Sampras with 14 majors in one single major event. Let that sink into you guys. That is unbelievable. That is impeccable. That is out, out of this world. Rafa Nadal, if we have some, somebody out there, I don't care if you are Roger Federer fan, Novak Djokovic fan, I don't give a dummy, I don't give a damn what kind of a fans and which of the players you cheer on. I don't want to hear any of you, not one single of you saying Federer is the GOAT. Forget that! Feather is not the GOAT. He's not even close of being the GOAT. Feather will end as the third greatest tennis player of all time. Djokovic, for sure, he has a chance. He is two Grand Slam titles behind Rafael Nadal now, and Djokovic is still playing tennis at a very high level, and he's still 35 years old, he's not 40 years old, a la Roger Federer. So Djokovic, we cannot count out. So this race, who will end as the greatest tennis player of all time, will be between Nadal and Novak Djokovic, for sure. Federer is out of the picture and has been that for quite a long time now. But for now, Rafael Nadal is the greatest tennis player of all time at tennis fans all around the world. You need to 
lift the hat for this consistency beast, for this consistency machine, for this out of this world tennis player. And he's not only good on clay. Yeah, clay is his best surface. His most preferred surface, we all know that, but he is good in other surfaces as well, like hard courts, like grass. He has won, for God's sakes, US Open four times. One more time than Novak Djokovic. Novak Djokovic, who is the greatest hard court player of all time, with 12 hard court Grand Slam titles. Nine at the Open and three at US Open. No, uh, Rafa Nadal has won four US Opens. Novak Djokovic, only three. So how can you say Nadal is only a clay court specialist? His best surface, his most preferred surface is of course clay. But it is not only there where Rafa, where Rafa Nadal wins. He wins everywhere. Astral Open, Wimbledon, US Open, you bloody, name, you bloody name it. And if this was not enough, Nadal now has won 15 Grand Slam titles when he has defeated one of his two big rivals on the way. Federer or Djokovic on the way. 15 out of 22. So Nadal wins only seven Grand Slam titles where he has avoided both Federer and Djokovic on his way to those Grand Slam titles. Only seven. Rough, um, and 15 where he has won w w while facing Djok uh, Djokovic or Federer on the, on the way to those Grand Slam titles. Let's let, let that sink in to you guys. 15. Fifth bloody freaking teen. Djokovic is second on that list with 14. Djokovic has won 14 Grand Slam titles where he has defeated Federer or Nadal on his way to those Grand Slam titles. 14. So Djokovic has won six, only six Grand Slam titles while, where he has avoided Federer and Nadal to those Grand Slam titles. Six. Nadal, seven. Nadal, 15, where he, has won, where he has defeated Federer or Djokovic on his way to those Grand Slam titles. He is the all-time leader compare that with his two big shift rivals, Federer and Djokovic. Federer, of course, is the last here. The he's, he's on the third place in this list with only seven winning Grand Slam titles where he has defeated uh, Nadal or Djokovic on his way to those Grand Slam titles. Federer has won um, 13 Grand Slam titles where he has avoided both, both Djokovic and Nadal to those Grand Slam titles. Seven. So he's unquestionably, he's without any shadow of a doubt, last in this list. And if you compare who has won most Grand Slam titles where they have defeated both of his top, top two chief rivals, Nadal is the leader there as well. He has defeated both Federer and Djokovic in three occasions, both of them in the same Grand Slam. 2006 uh, French Open, 2007 French Open, 2008 French Open. Djokovic has done it only once, 2011 US Open. Federer has never done it. He has never won a Grand Slam title where he has defeated both his two chief rivals on the way, Nadal and Djokovic. He was one point away of doing that for the only time in that 2019 Wimbledon final, but we all know what happened there. He choked despite having two championship points in his own serve. With all this said, do you not still call Rafa Nadal the greatest tennis player of all time? Do you not still call Rafa Nadal the greatest tennis player of all time? Do I, do, I even, do I even need to say more? Do I really need even to say more? Have I not said enough? Have I really not said enough about this consistency machine, about this consistency beast? What can I say about this match against Kasper Ruud? He completely outplayed Kasper Ruud. He didn't stand a chance. He gave Kasper Ruud only six games. Nadal did only two bad games. That was in the, first, in the beginning of the first set when he completely gave, gave away that game like a Santa Claus. And in the beginning of the second set as well. That was only, that was only two bad games from Rafael Nadal. Only two bad games. He, he fired 37 winners and only 18 Amfrosteros. So Nadal does 19 more winners than Amfrosteros. Kasper Ruud, he does only 16 winners and 26 Amfrosteros. 10 more Amfrosteros than winners. Kasper Ruud didn't stand a chance. I don't, need, I don't even want to talk about this final because this final was a, a, 
one way one way traffic for Rafa Nadal. It was never an exciting final to watch. All I want to say, big congratulations to Rafa Nadal's 22nd Grand Slam title, to his 19 and 19 and second tour title in, in his career. He's the greatest tennis player of all time for now. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time. Peace.